Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox 2 video and today we're going to be doing something which one of you guys and I um, actually came up with was having a little chat last night me and the user Jovian Guy on Discord so massive thank you to them um, for suggesting this as well because they were the one who initially suggested the idea but we came up with what if um, all of the planets had the stats of Earth in Universe Sandbox 2 so by that I mean it mass, radius, atmosphere which could be quite interesting for the rocky planets so we're going to see sort of what they would look like and we may try and uh, throw some water in there too for the rocky ones but we're going to see sort of what we'd end up with by doing that so without further ado let's get straight into this so first of all obviously we're going to head to Mercury because obviously we need to add all of the stats of Earth in, and we're going to see sort of what we end up with. So here is Mercury, obviously. It's a lot smaller, um, and all of those stats. So we're going to see if we just put an Earth here, just for comparison, just so we make sure we get all of this right. So first of all, obviously, we need to make its mass bigger, as that is the main sort of thing. Um, so we're going to head straight to one Earth, and we're going to insert one Earth there. So immediately, we're already pretty much yeah around the same size as earth so i'm not going to alter that anymore because it would just take ages trying to fiddle around with it to get it all correct so now we're going to head to the atmosphere so that should be in surface here and we're going to and albedo we can include albedo as well so atmosphere mass instead of being that we're going to put it to one earth but then we're also going to check earth's albedo so it's a 0 0.31 so then we're also going to do that here 0 0.31 and we're going to see what mercury would look like once we um click play there but for now that is mercury done so it should be quite interesting to see how that ends up Next up, we have got Venus over here. So it's already pretty much the correct size, but we're going to still um, change its mass to make it correct. So one there. So we'll quickly put that on. So that should... Is that going to change its radius? We can try and get it to 6371. So there we go. Okay, so that makes it a little small. So we've just put it to one Earth. Okay, there we go. So that's um, pretty much correct. Uh, Earth is 6371, isn't it? Yeah, good. All right. Cool. So there it is there. So then just comparing it with Earth again. So um, surface, we're going to go ahead. So this is going to need to cool down. So we're putting this to 0 0.31. Just actually enter that in. So 0 0.31. So that's Earth. So Venus should get colder from this. Um, so yeah, there we go. There. So 0 0.31. And then obviously atmosphere mass. That is going to have to be lower to only one Earth. So that could be um, interesting results with Venus. So we'll see what it turns like, and then we'll think about adding water on uh, later on once um, we let it play for a bit. So I think that's how we'll do it. So obviously delete the Earth. So that is Venus done. Now heading out to Mars. Mars could be quite an interesting one if it has that improved atmosphere and size. Maybe maybe we we'll get some more results out of Mars. So obviously same. Um, same process so one earth there so it's a little bigger but that's fine um so yeah there we go um surface we're going to go ahead and do um, the usual so 0 0.31 then um there we go there and then i'll see the atmosphere pressure itself that's obviously going to need to be um buffed a lot to one earth so there we go so that's mars done now so now we're going to head out to the outer planet so obviously since these guys are gas giants there's not really too much we need to do out here other than pull it to one earth of mass so pretty much that's all we need to do there so just, well, yeah, one Earth. Uh, it's a little funny with the radius there. It's just because it's a custom spawn. So we'll pull it to around 6,000. So it's a 6,731. There we go. And then pull it to one Earth. So that's pretty much um, correct there. So there we go. Then Saturn, same process. There's not really, um, obviously the outer planets, they're not really going to give us that much um, interesting results here. So um, it's mainly focused on the Rockies in the um, center of the solar system there. So yeah, 6,371. Or 6, no, 6, no, I'm getting all over the place now. Frick, 6371. There we go. So then I did do it with Jupiter, yeah. So there we go. So Jupiter and Saturn. And then that's got one mass of Earth, I believe. So, okay, a little less than. So that's, yeah, so it looks like we can't get it exactly right. So that's pretty, pretty much the closest we can get unless we use the lock feature. But radius doesn't really do much at the end of the day. So we'll let that pass. Um, same with Uranus, same process. So it's just going to go to one Earth. So put that on one Earth there. So it's just because they're custom spawns and stuff. They don't really... Um, they don't really work the um, normal way when you try and change their stats. So yeah, there we go there. So it's um, still the mass that we want to focus on. So yeah, there we go. So that's that worked on Uranus. Neptune as well. So we're not going to see too much change of those. We need to, still need to change that albedo, see if we get any change there. So um, that's not what I want to be on. So yeah, overview. So again, one Earth. Turn that on. 6371. There we go. And we'll quickly pull it back up. So it's just, it's just a lot of... Um, nitpicking really to try and get the stats exactly how you want um now moving on out of neptune i i guess we can include pluto um just why not um because it's the only other object that can really have much difference because anything further out it just gets too cold and it won't really there won't be really too much to change there but yeah there we go so obviously earth just put it to one earth there we go so just one and one earth there we go so that's pretty much matched up then surface um we're gonna head down here so this needs to go to 0 0.31 
So let's just try and enter that in. So there we go, 0 0.31. And then the atmosphere, even less than Mercury. So we're going to put it to 1 Earth. Maybe, maybe Pluto would warm up just slightly. Not much, but maybe. Just get a slight increase there. So right now it's to minus 243. So we'll have to see if that changes. Obviously with the gas giants, I don't really think we need to change the albedo um, anyway because I don't think we're going to see much change. Appearance, that's not what I want to be on. I want to be on the surface. I'm still not used to these new menus, I have to say. But yeah, so 0 0.31 there. Jupiter's all over the place with that. Then Saturn 0 0.31. It's really pretty much the same anyway. And then Uranus and it's a, Uranus and Neptune. We're probably not going to see anything from them. They're just so far away. I don't, I don't really think changing these stats is really going to do much. But yeah, there we go. So that is now the solar system all with Earth stats. We'll throw a save in just in case anything goes wrong. So um, yeah, we'll just call it um, all Earth stats. There we go. So just save that. Right. So now we have got all of the planets plus Pluto in there as well all around the st or as close as we can get to sort of the stats of earth so the interest the most interesting ones are definitely gonna be the rocky planets but yeah without further ado let's slow down time a bit click play and see what happens so yeah remember remember the pluto is at minus 243 we'll see if that increases or not so yeah 243 from pluto 226 from neptune and then 184 from uranus i don't, I don't think we're going to really see much change in those though but um yeah you never know i mean pluto could get that slight warm up but yeah now let's go ahead and click play so yeah there we go so let's see um, venus and mercury probably can have big changes so obviously venus that's going to probably cool down a lot have to see how that works but yeah let's really get the simulation going now really really um see how this progresses so yeah there we go okay and mars as well we should hope i'm hoping to see some warmth from mars maybe it'll warm up a little bit um since it's got that better atmosphere um on it now so yeah there we go so atmosphere mass is one earth actually the surface pressure as well we should probably buff that up so there we go actually, actually no the surface pressure is what we probably want actually so i have to uh slightly um alter those so yeah it's quite hard to get the same sets but yeah we want we the surface pressure is what will really make the difference that's what we'll um put in there venus is already pretty much correct the gas giants we don't need doing, so it's just Pluto as well. So it's just a minor, minor change there. We're not probably going to see much. They're already pretty much rounded up to what we want anyway. But yeah, there we go. So click play again just to make sure that's all working. But yeah, Mars. Are we going to see any warmth from that? Or is it just going to just keep staying cold? I mean, let's just put it to zero degrees to reset it. So that's getting cold still. But what about Venus and Mercury? So Venus is cooling down. Um, no surprises there. And how's Mercury doing? So Mercury does have a bigger atmosphere than before. So maybe that will be a disadvantage to it. Because although it may... Um, may um i think yeah it's gonna i think we lowered the albedo as well so that in theory is going to mean it's going to stay or absorb a little more light so see what it's like to compare to the stock mercury so yeah mercury normally absorb okay so mercury does reflect a little more light but that atmosphere is also going to make it keep a lot more heat in so we may not see any good results out of mercury unfortunately although it's got all the sizes and stuff correct i, I still think it may just have too much atmosphere to really cool down enough at this distance to the sun so obviously we're very close to the sun here so yeah there is mercury but heading on venus will probably give us the most interesting results so if i just put it to 100 degrees does it get hot or cold so it's, it increases again so yeah venus as well even with Earth's stats, it's still just got too much temperature to it, um, being this close to the sun. So, yeah, too much there. So, if you moved Earth to Venus's orbit, it would warm up as well. So, you've got to, be really, you've got to really be in the correct part of the solar system for this to really work. And, obviously, Mars too far away from the Goldilocks zone um, area as well. So, even with the stats of Earth, it's just not enough to really warm up Mars. Because, obviously, the Goldilocks zone, that's usually, that's for a planet with sort of Earth stats, I believe. So, also if you put other planets with earth stats further out or closer they're not going to work in theory so I, I believe that's the way it works i mean don't take me 100 percent on that but if i'm wrong let me know but um yeah i believe the gold lock zone is for earth-like planets and obviously these are earth-like planets now so if they're too too far in the red or too close to the blue it's not going to work for them so yeah earth still sitting in that sweet spot um, with its normal stats that's completely fine so yeah there we go there now heading on to the gas giants i doubt we're seeing much changes with the temperature here um so yeah that, that that's i mean jupiter's cooling down a little bit by the looks of it i just saw it go down from 247 to 246 so not really any changes there saturn as well we're not going to see um too much going on uranus two so that's that's actually got colder for some reason 226 what about pluto that was about 240 so that's at 273 now yes i'm not really uh not really sure um, this entirely works with some of these guys just by the way the game works. I mean, if I put it to, let's say if I put Pluto to, yeah, minus 200 quickly, will it get colder or hotter? So, 
So it still gets colder. So even with Earth's stats, it's just it's just too far out. Obviously, there's Earth's atmosphere is nowhere near good enough to keep heating at that distance. So yeah, there we go. That does it for this little experiment today. So again, a massive thank you for the guy who suggested this, so Juvian guy. Obviously, I thought up a bit of it as well, um, just to work with the idea to make it work a little more. But hopefully, you all enjoyed today's video. And yeah, there are our results. So yeah, if you put all of Earth's stats on the planets, uh, or as close as you can get into Universe Sandbox, you're not going to see really much change. You've obviously got Mercury here. I mean, Mercury did cool down a and then the mercury may have warmed up a bit actually i mean that's actually how much is mercury normally so we we'll just place mercury in there mercury normally is once okay so mercury's actually increased with the earth atmosphere that's got more uh, more atmosphere so although it reflects a little more light it's just got way more atmosphere now to hold that heat in obviously it's going to get worse obviously then we have got venus out here which is now cooler than mercury which makes sense since they've got all of the same atmosphere stats it really goes down to who's closer to the sun so now mercury with the same atmosphere it's now closer, uh, or it's now hotter because it's closer to the sun. So that really um, does play a part in there as well. So as we can see, we've got the progression of very hot, also very hot. Then we got just right, and then we'll see past Earth's orbit. You've got too cold all the way out to the rest of the system. So yeah, there, um, there we go, guys. So yeah, let me know your thoughts on this down below. If I missed anything, did anything wrong, let me know um, as well. But yeah, that is our results. So yeah, Goldilocks zone as well. That plays in big for this one since they're all got the stats of Earth there. So um, yeah, there we go. That is everything, guys. So yeah, hopefully you all enjoyed today's video. And let's see if we can get 30 likes on today's video as well, guys. And also subscribe if you're new. Helps on the journey to 13,000 subscribers. If you've got any ideas for other videos as well let me know in the comments or by discord make sure to join that in the description if you haven't already and yeah that is everything guys so make sure you all have a great day and i'll see you in the next video goodbye